my name is Aisha Seymour. I'm a senior scientist with the Australian Federal Police and I work as a forensic biologist. I manage cases from the ACT as well as Commonwealth crimes and sometimes internationally. For example, involved in cases from Vanuatu, Fiji, Palau. One of my roles is to go to court and to provide expert evidence in forensic biology, which is DNA profiling basically. I also work in the laboratory so I can search items um, taken from crime scenes that are submitted by either crime scene scientists or investigators, search for biological materials um, and then try and get a DNA profile. We write, of course, statements and um, reports. We conduct statistical analysis also on those. We do training. We're all DVI trained, which is disaster victim identification. We're involved with that. I don't even watch them, so I don't know the characters in the CSI shows themselves, but uh -huh. I guess a gruesome-like char character. Yep. I just find myself yelling at the TV set going, you can't say that or do that or whatever, and it just frustrates me now. They do throw a bit of jargon around, that's correct, but uh, just with the speed and I guess the certainty, sort of the, you know, um, five of them standing around at the crime scene looking at something in high heels and, you know, yeah. it's not a realistic <laughs> portrayal at all, and then to get the answers so quickly is a big problem actually. Um, for them to be so definitive, yes, it was him kind of situation yep. when um, particularly with forensic biology there's a lot of statistics and it's based on probabilities and we never say, yes, it's him. This is a whole um, context around the evidence which is just never portrayed in these types of shows and we certainly don't carry guns or are involved in interrogation of suspects. We have a very, sure. very different... Oh, and the other thing is they um, seem to do a bit of everything whereas... You know, you have biologists and fingerprint and hair and very separate, distinct mm -hmm. um, specialisations and you certainly, you know, couldn't be an expert in all of them. Often DNA evidence is held up as the be-all and end-all and it loses its context and I worry when people watch these shows and they're used to saying, yes, it's him and we just cannot say that on the stand at all. We never will. I firmly believe that DNA is just one type of evidence type which belongs in a whole range of an investigation and really needs to be provided context. I didn't start off with forensics as my where I wanted to be kind yeah. of thing, I just fell into it more or less but I did a science degree with um, honours in population genetics, so sort of more leaning towards the ecology, biology side of things. I think because of my genetics component, I did a little bit of voluntary work for them and just managed to get a job through that way. So, but everyone's different. <laughs> I think it's pretty hard in the sense that there's not a lot of positions. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if that's really communicated. For example, our team at the AFP there's only about 20 of us, 22 of us, and mm -hmm. we're not all um, case reporting scientists. There's no money, everyone's on budgetary constraints at this yeah. stage. <laughs>